Okay guys, so let's have a look at how to sell websites to local businesses. So we're going to cover two points here. First, I'm going to show you how you can find businesses that don't have a website. And second, I'm going to show you how to find businesses that need a new website. Okay, so let's jump right into it. First, let's address how you can find businesses that need a website. Now, the ideal case scenario is to find businesses that don't have a website. And it might seem hard to believe in this digital age uh, that there are still businesses out there that don't have a website. But believe it or not, there are hundreds of businesses out there in your area that don't have a website yet. And all they need really is a little convincing from you. That's all. So this is the ideal case scenario. Okay, so let's look at how you can find businesses that don't yet have a website. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is to open a Google page, but you want to make sure you open your local Google page. So the one uh, related to your country where you're based. So I'm based in Ireland, so I open google.ie. And the reason why is because we're going to launch uh, uh, local searches. So we're going to use Google Maps for this. And this is why you want to have your local Google page opened. So uh, the one thing we need to decide first is which industry are we going to target. So for the sake of argument here, for our example, we're going to look for accountants. And then you need to decide on a city or province or county, wherever you live. I don't know how... Uh, the boundaries are set in your country but uh, let's say here in Ireland we have counties so I'm going to select one county and one industry so let's say accountants and I'm going to choose Cavan as a county and as you can see we have Google Maps coming up here on the uh, search results and what we want to do is click on view all to have the full list of businesses and this will display all the accountants nearby in the cavern area and if you scroll down you're going to see here on the side you'll see websites and directions websites direction for each one of them but if you scroll down you'll notice some of them don't have any mention of a website which uh, leads us to think that clearly they don't have a website but you want to make sure first do they have a website or not so what you want to do the next step once you found someone with a, uh, no mention of a website, you want to click on their names. And then we're going to copy and paste this. And we're going to open another Google page. And then we add the county. So Foster Lorraine Co. Cavern. And then we're going to launch a search. What we want to address here, what we want to find out is make sure they don't have a website, you know? So here you can see this is a directory, a directory, 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 again a directory here. So clearly they don't have any website. So this would be the type of uh, uh, prospective clients you'd like to contact, the type of companies you'd like to get in touch with. So what you do next basically is just copy and paste their name, address and phone number and keep them neatly maybe on an Excel sheet or, or similar. And then uh, you can uh, compile a list of businesses you'll have to contact. And then later on during the day, maybe after you've done your research, you could contact them. So let's see another example here. We had uh, Foster Lorry. And if we go below, we can see here PAHR Ireland. So if I click on that again, uh, if you scroll down the details, you can see that there's absolutely no mention of any website. As you can see here, there's no website. So let's click on their name, highlight, copy, and let's run another Google search. I'm going to put Cavern again. So you can see what comes up here. We have Google page, the golden pages, sorry, Facebook page, Facebook page, and then a few directories like Yelp and Biz Ireland and so on. So clearly they do not have a website either. So this would be another great uh, prospective client, a great um, company you could get in touch with. So again, what you do is just simply uh, copy and paste their details and phone number, and then you can get in touch with them. 
Okay, so let's go back to Google Maps now, just for a few seconds. Let me close this. So, so far we found two viable candidates, people you could actually contact, two companies uh, to whom you could be selling a website, potentially. So if we keep scrolling down, look at this, there's another one here, another one there, another two here, you see? So it's very easy to find uh, prospective clients and businesses who might need a website. So clearly, you'll be more successful with some industries than others uh, we've seen here with Kevin, uh, with accountants, sorry, that uh, we have found a few already. Now imagine if we were to look for our plumbers, plumbers, and we keep Kevin again for now, and you will see uh, how many of them don't actually have a website. It's staggering the amount of plumbers that don't have website, actually. Look at, there's one, two, three, four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen there you go thirteen already here uh, that don't have a website and these are thirteen potential customers and uh, viable candidates that you can contact and offer uh, web designing services and then you can repeat the same operation with different locations, of course, you know. Uh, so in Ireland, we have 26 counties. So we have Cavan. I could look at another county. I could look for Sligo. You see in Sligo, these don't have website, no website, no website again. You see all these people, you can contact them. So it's going to take a bit of time, a bit of research on, on your part, but the result will be great, obviously, you know, because if they don't have a website, they are obviously a prime candidate, premium uh, candidate for you, and they'll be more likely uh, to buy something. So there you go. As you can see, it's quite easy to find businesses that don't have any website. Now, another way to find businesses that need a website is by finding businesses that already have a website, but their website looks dated and you can clearly see that their website is a few years old and it could do with a good revamp. Now, this one, again, will require spending some time online, but if you can get even one sale for every hour you spend online uh, doing some research, it's not too shabby when you think of it. So let me show you how you can achieve that. So for this example here, let's go back to our Google Maps. Uh, so we were still looking at uh, accountants in Cavan. So let's keep this as an example. But what you want to do now is actually the other way around of what we've done just before. You want to look at all the websites that are actually there and check them all out. So we're going to open them. So you right click on these links, right click, open in a new tab, right click, open in new tab, right click, open in a new tab. And you see it's going to open a new tab with those uh, websites. So what you want to do is to open them all from this page one by one, open, open and open. And then we're going to go through each and one of them one by one. So we'll have this one here. What we want to see is to assess if they are uh, professional looking, if they are current or not, basically, you know. So this one it looks fine. So we can close that. This one looks fairly OK to me. OK, we can close that. This one looks OK. This one as well. This one nothing wrong with that boom there you go we have one here so we carry on now no that looks okay uh, yeah we keep this one this one looks okay this one is kind of fine ish but yeah it's okay we're not going to keep this one and again here so we have two potential candidates again here based on our research. So this one looks clearly dated. It looks like a, a website from the, the early 2000. So this is a viable uh, candidate as well. Someone you could contact and offer a new website. And this one here, what do we have here? It's just two pages. Oh, looks like it's not even a finished website. We have image, description, image, description, image, description. 
and uh, burn a title so definitely I would contact this person as well so there you go all we've done is just look at all the website listed here and we found two potential candidates already so it's very simple isn't it so as you've just seen it's not hard to find businesses in your area that need a new website simply by using google maps and spending maybe an hour or two every week you'll be able to secure a few good leads now how do you sell to these businesses you found how do you approach them how do you introduce yourself okay so the first thing you should do is to give them a phone call yeah you heard me right a phone call and why a phone call well first it will allow you to find out if they're still in business but most importantly you'll get to break the ice uh, you'll get some background information and in most cases uh, you'll get the name of the person in charge of the business as well so when you call call a business you don't want to scare them off so remember this is done in stages so the first call, the first contact you make is always to take the temperature, basically. So you're not there to sell them anything. The first call is to break the ice and have your foot in, so to speak. So at this stage, it doesn't matter who you're talking to. It could be the owner or the receptionist, all the same. Here you are fishing for information, basically. So you could say something like, I had a quick look online, uh, I was trying to find your website, but nothing came up. So I was just wondering if you have a website to which they can only answer two things. Oh, yes, we do have a website. Absolutely. This is our web address. In this case, that is not much you can do. Obviously, uh, you can tick them off your list or they will say something like, uh, I'm really sorry, but we don't have any website yet, I'm afraid. In which case, it means that the door is wide open now for you. So, and the next thing you want to do is to prompt a reaction now. So, you want to trigger a reaction so that you have something that you can grab onto. So, you could say uh, something along those lines. Oh, I see. Uh, well, let me introduce myself quickly. My name is Dave. I'm a local web designer. Have you ever considered getting a website done for your business, if you don't mind me asking? There you go. Simple question, isn't it? Now, the answer will tell you everything you need to know. Whatever they tell you uh, from this point on, you have to use it to your own advantage. But again, don't try to sell them a website during the first call unless, of course, uh, the opportunity presents itself. But more than often during the first call, uh, if you try to sell them something, all you will achieve is build friction. So please resist the temptation. So what you want to establish during the first call is either they don't have a website or they could do with a new one. Then you can politely ask if you could send them an email with some details. And to whose attention should I send that email to? That way you get a name as well. And then you send them an introductory email. And if you were talking to the receptionist, here's a tip again, always ask for her name. That way you can use her name in the email so it doesn't look like a cold email either. So you could start by saying, Oh, hi, John. I was chatting with Sarah at reception who kindly advised me to send you an email. So this way, uh, they'll get something that they can look at. Now, let's face it. They might read it or they may well not. Uh, doesn't matter really at this stage. All that matters at this stage is that you got to talk to someone and you got a name, a contact name within the business. And that gives you a good reason to call them back a few days later. And when you ring them back, uh, that's when you go actually in sales mode. That's when you sell them the website. Because by that time, you've already introduced yourself. Uh, you've sent them something that uh, they can look at and then you can confidently ring them and say something along those lines. Hello, uh, can you put me through to John, please? He's expecting my call. It's in relation to his website. Now, because you've got a name, a reason to call and he's expecting you, they'll put you through and you'll get to talk to the decision maker. So there you go, guys. That's all for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell so you won't miss a single update. All right. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.